All right, here we are with another cyberpunk video. And uh, this one's going to take place in Santa Domingo on uh, the Ranchero side. And the fastest travel, uh, a uh, quick travel destination would be Piez. And then you can just cross the street right on over to this side mission. Now, this is all about the money. So this is, uh, normally I wouldn't cover any like uh, money glitches. However, this one's a bit unique. Uh, this feature is actually built into the game. Um, so it, I'm sure it's something that the developers themselves are aware of. And uh, because of that, I found this one worth covering. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to go over to this little side quest that is highlighted on the screen now. And you're going to find these three kind of trashy mercenaries hey, outside. And you're going to go up and start the dialogue with them. Uh, I don't think there's a wrong way to do this. Um, I could be wrong. I only tried this the one way. So if you want to be sure, uh, you could always go ahead and kind of just follow every step that I took here in the video. Oh, and be careful if you use the Skippy gun. I made a video on the Skippy gun if you haven't heard about it. It's uh, one of the best legendary pistols. Uh, in the game, but it has an AI on it, so every once in a while it will misfire on purpose, and it could get you into a little bit of trouble, so just be advised. Maybe pull out a different weapon. So yeah, you're just going to finish the dialogue with these boys. Um, you're going to get your hands on the suitcase, and then you're going to launch the EXE inside of it. And once you launch the EXE inside of it, it will send you to a new location on the map, and that's why I pulled my car up already, so I could just hop in the car and head that way right afterwards. But it is pretty straightforward. Now, there's two things to note there. I needed, what is it, I think that's like, it's not strength, but it's the equivalent of strength level 12 to give that answer there. Um, however, just bullying these guys around should get the job done. And then also, I think you need hack level 7 at least to access this case. So, uh, I would say at least put some points into your into your tech uh, if you haven't already. And if, if you haven't already, I would go ahead and wait until you do have some points into it to do this mission. Give me the case, man. Just give me the case, man. You'll connect. And I don't think you have to read any of the stuff in the messages. I just did because I kind of wanted to know what was going on. Um, but you'll go straight to files in the top center. And then you will launch EXE. So this next location is out in the middle of the desert. Um, I'm just going to speed up through half of the driving and then just kind of show the location as I arrive. Um, but once you get up to these guys, they, if you are a certain level, they are pretty strong. And uh, something I didn't take note of before I left was uh, checking my ammunition and stuff. Of course, of course, you can craft it um, at any point if uh, you have the parts required for crafting ammo. Um, however, I found dealing with these guys through stealth to be the best answer. Um, so once I got here, I tried to attack them and I realized, okay, well that, that might be... It wasn't the best, <laughs> let's just say it wasn't, it wasn't the best scenario. So what I decided to do afterwards was just see if I could find a little gap between them and find my way in, all stealth-like, and uh, I did just that and it worked out quite well. Then I would just sneak up behind them one by one and take them out nice and quiet. Alright, so once you take the last guy out, then you can go ahead and go on over to the device, the space device, which is also pretty interesting when you're thinking about DLC for this game, like uh, the fact that you have stuff coming from space kind of makes you wonder about the potentials for, you know, uh, moon DLC or Mars DLC or uh, space station DLC or something like that. Anyways, Johnny Silverhand comes in with the, with the details, he uh, always knows more than he lets on and kind of tells you what's going on there. And then you just go ahead and pick up uh, the map. Or, yeah, it's a map, if I'm oh, not mistaken. Dude. What the hell is this? What's it look like? Branches, 2021. Untitled number 18. Oil on canvas. You can go ahead and just speed through this, or if you want to stay immersed, then go ahead and listen to the story. 
Anyways, then what you're going to do is you're going to take this map and you're going to go to one of the nearest drop shops. You can find a few nearby. Um, I just went to whichever one I thought was closest or on the way back into the city. And um, you'll notice that the item sells for 4000 and as long as you back away from the drop box and then re-enter, you can buy it back for $5 and you can rinse and repeat this process. So if you sell it and you try to buy it back immediately, it will cost the same amount of money. But as long as you leave the shop and come back, I guess it looks at you like a new customer and then it decides that you can buy it for five dollars so i'm not sure exactly why but if you look at other items this the same thing happens i tried to sell a gun or a piece of cyberware or something for like 1200 and then when i went to buy it back it was also being bought back for like 15 bucks so it's something that's built into the game and uh it's something worth checking out if you need to make a few extra eddies and uh the only caveat is that each drop shop um, will have 20,000. So at some point, you're going to have to skip forward to the next day for the shop to refill its its dollars, its eddies. Um, but that's easy enough. You just back out, you press I, you set the time for 24 hours, and you hit enter, and then you just hop right back in the shop and rinse repeat. Anyways, let me let me know what you guys think about this process. Is this uh, exploiting something that shouldn't be there, or is this just part of the game, and how do you guys feel about that? I'd like to hear your comments down below. And if this is helpful, you know, for you buying your next vehicle in Cyberpunk 2077, then please do leave a like and share with your friends. I'm Parzival. I'm out of here for now, so peace. Oh.